Hello, this is Dave from Dimensional Consulting. Today's video will discuss projected tolerance zones. Projected tolerance zones can be applied to orientation tolerances as well as position tolerances. We will use position tolerances in our examples. A projected tolerance zone is a tolerance zone that is projected outside the part. When the tolerance zone is projected outside the part, it exists only outside the part. None of it is inside of the part. The reason for using a projected tolerance zone is because a threaded hole is usually specified RFS. This results in a tolerance zone inside the part that the axis of the pitch diameter must fit within. When a tolerance of position is applied to a threaded hole, the intention is usually to locate the hole and therefore a tolerance value is used that is appropriate for locating the hole. However, the tolerance of position controls the orientation of the hole as well as the location of the hole. A tolerance of position value that focuses on locating the hole will usually allow more orientation error than is desirable. If a bolt is threaded into a hole with orientation error, and if the mating part is tall, then a geometric effect will allow the shank of the bolt to interfere with the top of the clearance hole. Projecting the tolerance zone outside of the part will control the bolt shank's location and orientation such that the top of the bolt will not interfere with the top of the clearance hole. The projected tolerance zone is specified using the projected tolerance zone modifier as shown in the feature control frame. The number following the projected tolerance zone modifier indicates how far above the surface of the part the tolerance zone must project. The tolerance zone is centered on true position. The axis of the bolt must fit within the projected tolerance zone. If the mating part is quite thin, then it's not worth bothering with the projected tolerance zone. If the mating part is quite tall, then a projected tolerance zone is important. As a rule of thumb, it generally becomes worthwhile to use a projected tolerance zone when the height of the mating part is at least as tall as the distance that the bolt threads extend into the part. Confusion sometimes arises when the threads do not extend to the surface of the part. The question then is, does the projected tolerance zone start at the end of the threads or at the surface of the part? The standard does not explicitly say, but it implies that the tolerance zone starts at the surface of the part. In section 10.4.1, it says that it is the variation in orientation of the portion of the fastener passing through the mating part that is significant. The location and orientation of the threaded hole are only important insofar as they affect the extended portion of the engaging fastener. This implies that the tolerance zone is where the bolt passes through the mating part. That's today's video. If you want to see more tips like this, please subscribe and visit my website at dimensionalconsulting.com.